This sucks. You can try and keep your tools organized, but you're not gonna get it done with this crap. Your tools will either be so loose that they fall out, or you have to pry them out or smack them to get them back in. So instead of struggling, I decided to make this. With a 3D printed organizer, I can have my sockets easily accessible. And with so many different sockets and drive sizes, the possibilities are endless. For example, I can make shorter organizers from impact sockets, or I can even design these low profile organizers from my deep sockets so that they clear the height of the drawers. I can even add an extra slot to hold the drive adapter. If I'm not sure what socket I'm gonna need, I can grab this mix set of metric and imperial and bring it right to where I'm working. The best feature is the slot that I added so that I can insert these rare earth mains that I got on Amazon and this holds the sockets in tight but still loose enough that I can remove them easily. This paired with the beveled edge makes it so satisfying to just snap these sockets into place. The added bonus is that these mains are so strong that I can just stick them wherever I want. The system works so well that I went on a design spree and printed 8 organizers for every socket that I own. And at the end of the video I'll show you where you can get these files for free so you can print them for your own toolbox. So at this point I have a fleet of organizers that I'm ready to throw in my toolbox. We've seen how satisfying it is to organize with magnets and it's got me thinking maybe I can print a magnetic organizer for my screwdrivers or wrenches. If you have a pile of screwdrivers then you understand the struggle of finding the right one. To combat this chaos I came up with a solution, a specially designed screwdriver organizer that mounts to the inside of the toolbox. I couldn't fit this piece on the build plate so I had to get creative so I added these tongue and groove slots which allows the pieces to slide together. The coolest part is that I can pop the inner lining of the lid and mount the organizers to it. So when you open up the lid, the screwdrivers pop up and present themselves for easy access. The beauty of this design is that when the lid is closed, the screwdrivers can't come out because they hit the inside of the toolbox, so there's no need to add magnets to keep them in check. However, some tools that would benefit from magnets is this 30-piece gear wrench set. So just like before, I designed the organizers in CAD. Two holders, one for my metric set and one for Imperial. And of course, I can't forget the slots for the magnets to hold these wrenches in place. <laughs> this is awesome. The magnets are so strong that they can even hold the wrenches upside down. Now with all the organizers assembled, we can toss them in and see how it transforms this toolbox. I'm working I can grab an organizer and have the tools lined up wherever I'm working. Earlier I mentioned that I'd share the print files with you so that you can organize your own toolbox. In the description you will find links to the Thingiverse files along with a link to the correct size magnets to bring these designs to life. But that's not all, I've gone the extra mile and created a video tutorial with print settings and assembly instructions so that you can easily take your toolbox to the next level. You don't need an expensive printer to take on fun projects like this. Right now you can get the printer that I use for this project for $170 to your door. Check it out, the link's in the description. Now tackling the organization of my toolbox was a huge undertaking, but in the end it was totally worth it. If you like tools and 3D printing things for your toolbox that seamlessly click together, then you might like my other video where I overhaul old Bosch tools by printing custom battery adapters. If you found value in this video, consider giving a thumbs up. Your like makes a significant difference, especially for a small channel like mine, so thank you for the support. There's more where this came from and I'd love to show you along for the ride, so stay tuned. Until then, happy tinkering and happy organizing.